These SAF soldiers are being pushed to their limits in this tough and realistic medical training. They're not professional medics, but this is a vital skill they need to hone to operate in a volatile environment. These men and women will be assisting in the reconstruction and stabilization efforts in Afghanistan, part of the International Security Assistance Forces efforts in the war against terror. And this is just one stage of the training they go through before being deployed in the combat zone. To find out more about the operations in Afghanistan, I was all packed and ready to go. After more than 10 hours on the airplane, I arrived at the National Support Element, or NSE. The temperature now is currently about 52 degrees Celsius, I think. The pre-deployment training back in Singapore is uh, doing good for us and uh, we're able to so-called train with our gear and uh, climatize to the condition of being working in a hot uh, weather environment like this. Lim is one of two soldiers deployed at the NSE to support our servicemen in Afghanistan. This team of two not only provides logistics and liaison support, but conduct the second phase of pre-deployment training for all our servicemen. Warren Asmi is the other half of the two-man team. First firing mission, prone supported. When you are in theatre, you have to have the, always the alert frame of mind so that you are prepared for anything. So this, in a sense, will help the soldier when they are in theatre. Uh, when they encounter this type of situation, they know how to react. The range is the easy part. Our next stop, a US training facility a few kilometres down the road. Here, our servicemen go through a series of training to get them acclimatized to the operating environment in Afghanistan. Army officer Major Terence Yao, my buddy for this trip, was in for a big surprise. Imagine treating a wounded soldier in total darkness. So I felt for all the wound, where is it, and check that the leg, both are gone, and there's a chest wound I can see, however the blood is oozing from the leg, so I straight away can... What we do is we try to simulate here as a combat situation where that we can stress the soldier, where they can also be able to practice their skills in a situation where it's stressful like it would be in a combat situation itself. You learned a lot, didn't you? You know, you always learn from your failures as much as your successes, so you learned a lot today. So that's really good. Thanks, thanks a lot. You're more than welcome, sir. Next up, the rollover simulator in the form of a U.S. Hummer vehicle. Terrence not only had to endure the countless rolls, he had to free himself upside down. Okay. 
As the sun began to set, I started packing for my mission to Afghanistan. Well, the time right now, it's about 1.20 a.m. And uh, in about two hours' time, I'll be catching a flight, uh, a U.S. C-17 flight into Kandahar Airfield in Afghanistan, where I'll meet uh, some of our uh, SAF troops there. Um, right now, I just finished packing my bulletproof vest, this baby here, helmet, and uh, all my other uh, camera equipment and stuff. So, a little apprehensive, but I think... It'll be good. I have to really change my mindset. Someone who is in operational environment, who have to have heightened awareness or everything, cause it's really very dangerous here. Yeah.